Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I hope y'all are doing well tonight. Of course, you're doing well if you're tuning in to hashtag LNT with me, your favorite man. Do I need to introduce myself every day, guys? Come on. I mean, I'm the one and only Ahmed Ali, live from the holy city of Karbala. Another episode, episode days, that's 10 in English, days in French, 10 in English. Uh, oh, 10, 10 in Spanish, yeah, my bad. Uh, 10 in Spanish, you know, because, you know, I'm multilingual. Uh, but anyways, uh, tonight's episode, you're going to love it, because tonight we're going to talk about something that's affecting you on a daily basis, whether you recognize it or you don't, but you guys have to wait, because first got to check out what's trending in the world today. So let's go. So yeah, I have amazing news for the Iraqi football fans out in the world uh, and in Iraq if you're watching in Iraq. But FIFA has finally, and alhamdulillah, FIFA has finally lifted the ban off uh, of uh, the stadiums in Karbala, in Basra and in Erbil uh, at the FIFA council meeting in Bogota on Friday. Now this means uh, that Iraq's homeland isn't going to be Qatar, isn't going to be Iran, isn't going to be Bahrain, isn't going to be Jordan or Syria, whatever. It's going to be in Iraq for the first time in a while. And, uh, you know, we have mad football fans in Iraq. So, you know, for the first time uh, in a long uh, period where we see Iraqi fans get to see international players, you know, like Neymar and Messi and all of them. Hopefully we can see them in Iraq, uh, you know. But if, if, if the stadium uh, has the capacity of 50,000 seats, uh, you'll see Iraqis jumping on the fence, you know, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. You know, no offense to my Iraqi brothers, uh, but you know, we're just uh, trying to have fun. Anyways, uh, the other thing that's also trending today, um, you know, it's uh, for the women that are living in Saudi Arabia, this is going to be amazing news uh, that you've ever heard for a very, very long time. Uh, now, uh, Saudi Arabia is expected to lift the ban off of, uh, you know, women driving instead of being in the back seat or, you know, in, uh, in, in shotgun. Uh, they're going to actually start being behind the wheel, you know, subhanAllah, alhamdulillah, you know, uh, thank God for you guys, uh, you know, your women are out of the kitchen, into the car behind the wheel, whipping around the streets of Jeddah and, and Medina and Mecca, you know, but anyways, let's go and uh, talk about today's topic, take us away, take us away, yeah, take us away. All right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Television. Whether you love it, whether you hate it, but there's only one fact, you can't ignore it. Heck, some of you are sitting in front of uh, your TVs right now on your couches or on your, you know, uh, soft chairs watching hashtag LNT episode 10 tonight. Your favorite show, of course, and your favorite man, Ahmed Ali. But let me tell you one thing. You always have to tune into good programs and good uh, and, 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 and appropriate channels. Now, uh, I hope your mind doesn't go anywhere else because, you know, uh, we don't want anyone thinking uh, having a bad knee, a bad intention on hashtag LNT. This is a religious channel. We have a bel <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, but you know, why are you, why are you guys laughing? What did you guys think when I said, uh, don't watch it? Oh, come on, guys. No, no, not those kind of channels that's going through your head. No, 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 no. I'm, I was talking about like, you know, sports or news, you know, National Geographic. Uh, we can actually learn something. But anyways, TV is one of the most important technological, um, one of the most technological in, in, in inventions uh, of the 20th century. Um, and... TVs and the TV industry is going one direction, and that's going up. It ain't going down. It's going up, and it's going to stay up. But it's expanding exponentially day by day, uh, whether you like it or not, whether, and, and, and it's here to stay. Now, maybe the competition with the Internet uh, might change it, and the view today is just amazing. So we got a new view for you guys just to chill at home and watch me, you know what I mean? Uh, a, a new view. I'm, I'm just, you know, mesmerized by the view of, of, of myself. Uh, but no, I'm kidding. Uh, so, uh, you, you know, with th there is a competition nowadays uh, with television and with internet. Uh, but it's hardly to find someone that's, you know, not 
sitting and watching TV uh, or not checking out uh, what's uh, trending in the world or, you know, watching a live match of, you know, Barcelona all day, baby. Barca, yeah, right there, my favorite team. If you guys didn't know already, my favorite team is Barcelona. Um, anyways, yeah, see, look at that. Look at that, the favorite team of 2017, 2018. Uh, let's hope uh, Lionel Messi wins the Ballon d'Or this year. Uh, just a, a shout out to him. Anyways, yeah, so, you know, because he, he, he be watching the show too. You know, I, I, I made sure he be watching the show too. But anyways, uh, television uh, has been the subject for a lot of criticism over decades for now. It has been reprimanded uh, for spreading needless entertainment, as some might say, inappropriate, inappropriate violence. We don't want to go to other material. Inappropriate violence and creating couch potatoes. This is actually funny. Uh, creating couch potatoes. And now studies. Lol. <laughs> lol. Yeah, wow. Yeah, that lol killed me. Yeah, that, that, yeah that's nice. Uh, but yeah. Um, you know, creating uh, that is just, uh, is just funny. Anyways, now studies have said that watching TV um, leads to obesity and stupidity, uh, as some researchers might say. But honestly, you know, you might use that against us right now, turn off your TV. Don't. Just wait a second. Don't, you don't, don't turn off your TVs uh, and listen to me for a sec. Uh, you know, uh, you're tuning into hashtag LNT. So you smart. You loyal. I'm going to make sure of that. You're smart. you loyal. And, you know, a lot of people know who says that. We don't want to mention any names uh, that are inappropriate for tonight's show. You know, we have the drop view of Al-Fadl Abbas. May peace and blessings be upon him and upon the Ahlul Bayt. But anyways, you know, we all remember our grandmas, uh, our grandmas that used to say, uh, TVs rot your brain. Uh, you know, are you guys familiar with that? Anyways, if you are. Uh, but all of this might be true. However... Uh, a lot of studies these days are saying that television um, provides a lot of information and it's actually beneficial for us and good for us. Now, psychologist Jay Derrick find, uh, says that certain programs actually bring happiness and comfort to the viewers. If you're watching us right now at home, you feel happy for seeing me on TV and that, right there, hashtag, oh, right, right there, yeah. See, right there, right there, hashtag LNT. See, Seeing that logo right here just brings joy to you, you know, and, and whoever brings joy to the hearts of the believers brings joy to the, you know, to, to, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So imagine my status right now in, in the heavens, you know, uh, <laughs> in, in the status of, uh, anyways, yeah, don't do that. Anyways, yes, uh, now, uh, I know that everyone has at least one TV at home, uh, and if you don't, I don't know what world you're living in. Um, you know, I, I, I've seen houses, not saying my house, but you know, I've seen houses where they have a lot of TVs. A lot of TVs, trust me when I say that. In every, in every bedroom, there, there has to be a TV. There's someone that even has a TV in the washroom. You know, just in case, you know, he's taking whatever. Uh, you know, he has to be watching TV. That's called addiction, but uh, don't, don't, don't even go there. Anyways, but uh, a lot of people are spending so much time watching TV. It's like, it's like a time filler for some people. You know, when, they're, when they don't have anything better to do, all they do is turn on TV and see what's, what's good. However, have we actually asked ourselves, is it worth it? Um, is it worth the, the, the time that we're giving in? And, you know, are we gaining or benefiting any knowledge from it? Um, do we have anything better to do uh, other than watch TV? Uh, or, tonight's question, is watching TV good for you is watching TV good for you the lines are now open you can go uh, and dial the number shown below right now uh, for you guys uh, you can call on whatsapp uh, you can also send the send a voice note uh, an audio uh, or a text message uh, to the same number that will be shown in five four three two oh subhanallah Subhanallah, plus 964-774-067-1836. Uh, the question is, what's the question? Let me know. Is watching TV good for you? Let me know, because for me, I, I, I watch a lot of TV, especially with the fam. Uh, but we, also, we are also live on Facebook as well. So you can go and check out our Facebook page at 
Imam Hussein 3 TV or at lnt.show. So let's go take a break, very short break for the best. Yeah, the guys were so into the break. They wanted, to, you know, they, they, they were working so hard. They just wanted to break. Uh, so they put that into the, the 10 second break. I didn't even get the chance to drink some water. Anyways, they'll bring me some water soon. Uh, but anyways, a lot of people have been talking about watching TV. And just a reminder, we are live from the holy city of Karbala. The lines are open. And the question for tonight, is watching TV good for you? You know, if you're watching me on TV right now, you can comment. Be like, yeah, you know what? I am watching TV right now. I'm seeing your beautiful face on TV. Uh, and uh, we are getting a few Facebook comments uh, about tonight's question. Uh, but we do have, uh, you know, as I mentioned, uh, a few phone calls coming in uh, as well. But hopefully we can get them through. Uh, yes, we do have a Facebook comment from Noreen Riza. So what does Noreen Riza say? Yeah, so she says, I'm watching TV and I'm watching you, that's all. Uh, and and pff, truly, that's all. Why are you, show, why, why are you showing my phone, bruh? Uh, yeah. Uh, so, uh, no, 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 we don't, we, we don't, she, she, she just said, I'm sitting on my couch right now, so what does that mean? We're not saying everybody that sits on the couch and watches TV is a couch potato. Let me get that picture back up. Not everyone... Not everyone looks like a couch potato, like the one we, we, we showed earlier. Let's uh, like right there. No, no, not everyone looks like that. Uh, but you know, if, if you do look like that. Uh, sorry, what's the name? Fatima Batul uh, commented saying, she, I never watch TV, so how are you watching me right now? Maybe Facebook, uh, you know, but we'll give you the benefit of the doubt, uh, you know, but Alhamdulillah. Uh, so let's go back to the topic and let's remind the viewers that we are live once again. Oh, we are live. Uh, and the numbers or the lines are open right now. You can call at the number shown below. Uh, let's get a quick number shown. Uh, and today's question is, is watching TV good for you? So the number is right there, plus 964-774-067-1836. All right. Now, back to tonight's question and answering um yeah i i well uh someone just texted me actually he's like i'm not gonna call you tonight anyways don't call you, you're gonna call ihtv you're calling the channel of imam al hussein you're not calling al nt so you need to understand what kind of status it takes for someone to call uh you know and i'm kidding i'm kidding uh you're, you're calling i uh, imam hussein tv3 inshallah now is watching tv good for you now, a lot of studies have been conducted, study after study, research after research, uh, about this topic since the late 1940s. And a lot of people have uh, commented about this, uh, but it has become a lot popular when TVs in the late 1940s, when TVs were first introduced uh, to the homes. Now, what does this say about me, about you, about everyone? What does it say about us? You know, when, when we just come back from home or when we come back uh, from school or classes, uh, you know, I'm one of the guys that, you know, when I, when I just get home, I sit on the couch, see what's going on in the world. Because, you know, when you have Trump in, in, in administration, when you have Trump in office, you got to check what's going on because the next day your country is banned from, you know, your citizens banned from, from going to a different country. You know, we're not trying to create enemies or anything, but, you know, uh, stuff does happen. Anyways, now, uh, one of the things that actually for me I think is beneficial and for many parents uh, is you know when, when you're trying to get a, uh, an important phone call uh, from, from a very important person uh, you know you're, you're sitting there and your child is just whining and they're, they're bugging you on something either they want this kind of candy or, or this thing but um, the best solution to do the best thing to do is to sit turn on Cartoon Network to Nickelodeon and let the TV do the rest. That's all you got to do. Easy solution. You heard it first from hashtag LNT. Easy solution. However, there are a lot of, uh, there, there, now with the entertainment, uh, there's a lot of advantages uh, that come to this. And these fall under the, the, the pros 
of watching TV. Now, first and foremost, uh, we can learn a lot of stuff. For example, educational. If you're watching National Geographic or if you're watching History Channel, there are a lot of programs that actually benefit you uh, when, 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 when you're tuning into them or when you're watching hashtag NNT at you know, saying TV3. A lot of people now are saying, oh, you know what? He's boosting up his show, he's boosting up the channel. I have to. I have to boost up the show. Anyways, but, um, you know, and, and, and the second thing, uh, when, when you are watching uh, TV and beneficial programs, uh, as the psychologist uh, Jay uh, Deckard, he, he mentioned, um, he shows and, and, and TV channels, as I mentioned, like Imam Hussain TV3 or Imam Hussain Media Group, when you're watching their channel or when you're watching ABTV, Ahl al TV, there are, you know, it's, it's, like, it's like a house at your convenience. It's like a seminary school at your convenience. You get to know the jizbrental uh, arguments. You get to know uh, whether what's, what's halal, what's haram. Uh, you know, you, you, you get to know a lot of stuff. And that's through TV, through live broadcast of ISTV of hashtag LNT. Now, without a doubt, you know, uh, we always have to look for the highest quality of entertainment when we are sitting um, on, on, on TV. But we have just received an audio message, and then we'll continue. Uh, a, a text message, okay? So from, uh, from Adnan from Algeria. Adnan from Algeria says, TV is very beneficial for everyone. Every person in the household uh, has learned something from watching TV. Imagine how naive we would be if it wasn't for TV. Um, thank you very much, Brother Adnan, for uh, sending us the question uh, and uh, you know elaborating on your point. Um, we can agree somehow, and uh, you know everyone uh, is entitled to their own opinion. And at the end of the day, uh, it's it's beautiful to see how. Uh, a lot of people are looking at this. You know, for me, when, when, when I was uh, asking a few friends, I was doing, you know, a small survey uh, of the people I know. And when I asked them, is watching TV good for you? A lot of people said yes, and a lot of, pe and a lot of people said no. But for the people that did say yes, we found that, um, you know, you, you get to know what's happening in the world second by second, you know, live. Whereas internet, and a lot of people said, you know, what, we don't even need uh, TV. You know, one of the people I heard, he hasn't watched TV for over a year. And I believe him because his TV just sitting at home um, and, and, you know, collecting dust. Uh, but uh, a lot of people are saying internet can sometimes be an alternative uh, to uh, TV. But at the same time, uh, you can't really, uh, it's, it's like a second hand. Uh, information that you're getting. But anyways, uh, we're getting uh, a few Facebook comments. Fatima Batul just commented again. She's, she, she, internet is very bad. So she's like, I'm, I'm just watching your show right now. And I, as, as I mentioned, and Kulsum Naqavi commented. Uh, she says, I'm watching you. I'm watching TV and I'm watching you, Ahmed. Thank you very much uh, for the fans. Uh, but, you know, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Everyone is watching hashtag LNT, and trust me when I say, when you're watching hashtag LNT, you're in for a good show. Anyways, we have a call from Hussein from London. Salamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Salamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah. Welcome to hashtag LNT. And tonight's question is watching TV good for you? I know you love TV. I hope you're the right person I'm talking to. No, what's, what's, what's really interesting about Ahmed is the fact that you're attacking TV while being on TV. Huh? So what? Yeah, subhanAllah, you know, we're double standard. Anyways, yeah, go ahead. So, in my opinion, yeah. I think tools like TV and social media can both be used as a weapon and a tool for bettering the future. I think it just depends on the people using this tool. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so there are some people, for example, uh, some organizations that use, for example, Facebook to attack others to cause issues, whereas uh, some use it to spread their knowledge of the Ahl al-Bayt. Yes. The of the Ahl -Bayt. yes. Such as yourself, of course, Brother Ahmed. Mm -hmm. Such as myself. Thank you very much. Was that a compliment or was that an insult? 
That was definitely a compliment, Brother thank Ahmed. You, you are doing a great job, especially with thank the channel, you to spread the love and the appreciation of the Ahl al-Bayt. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Brother Hussain. Uh, I hope it was the Hussain. I, 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 I know, but yeah, thank you very much for joining us tonight, Brother Hussain from London. Uh, once again, we thank everyone that's tuning in uh, and calling us tonight. Uh, but uh, we were reading a few comments from Facebook uh, and also we got a few phone calls and a few messages uh, as well. The messages will be viewed, inshallah, in a few moments. Uh, we do have another text message from Sayyida Maryam from Pakistan. She says, TV, both, uh, TV is both harmful and beneficial. It all depends on what is being viewed and how viewers understand it. Uh, absolutely, uh, that, that point can actually be taken into consideration uh, along with the message before. Uh, a, a lot of times this will also fa uh, falls under uh, the pros and cons uh, of uh, TV. And as Brother Hussain mentioned as well, um, TV can also be used as a weapon or it can be used as uh, you know, a, a means of spreading uh, the true, uh, either true information uh, or spreading um, something that's actually beneficial, uh, that just like what we're doing right now, LNT. Pick up the phone and dial the number. You know, the number is going to be shown in five, four, three, two, one point five. Actually, one point seven five. One point five one zero. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I had to count slow. The guys were telling me to count slow. Anyways, plus nine six four seven seven four. 067 1836 don't be lazy don't be lazy you know don't don't be a potato couch or a couch pot a potato couch a couch potato don't be a couch potato pick up the phone and dial the number now or else i'm gonna start calling everyone a couch potato including myself anyways yeah we'll go we'll, we'll go back we're, we're, we're we'll go back to the topic anyways uh, so yeah, we, let's just sum up what we're talking right now. We're talking about the pros of uh, TV and we mentioned a few researchers um, uh, that were mentioning um, that according to what you are watching, it has an effect on your behavior and on uh, your learning skills. Now, research has shown that high quality shows like Sesame Street can improve children's cognitive abilities. Study after study show that the children or kids from the age three to five years old who watch educational programs have better grades when they grow up and they are more likely to recognize letters shapes and better than those who don't watch TV um, and that can sometimes also be true however when 500 kids were interviewed and participated in a study or a survey uh, Later on, when they were teenagers, they were contacted and they found uh, that their grades were a lot higher. They're, they have placed more value on achievements, read more books, and were more creative than those who didn't watch TV. Now, televisions serve the invaluable purpose of delivering authentic, uh, as well as uh, it analyzes the news for you. Uh, as uh, the participants told us as well, when you're watching TV, sometimes when you're reading an article on the internet, you might not understand every part of the article. But when you're watching TV, sometimes you get to understand every single bit. Because, you know, as, uh, if, if you talk to a journalist, um, they'll tell you that even a simple word, uh, depending on where you use it, um, it can mean something totally different. Um, now, when we go back and talk about the, the, the cons um, and before that we'll take a very very short break and we'll be back very shortly to talk about the cons because you know whenever there's a pro there is a con we'll talk about that after the break Yeah. Welcome back to hashtag LNT episode 10. Before the break, we're talking about the pros and now we moved on to the cons. Uh, we are getting a few messages uh, coming in, but hopefully we can get them on the screen soon, inshallah. Uh, and we do remind everyone to call in 
uh, and 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 really wallah it's haram for you guys you know i don't why do i have to keep on reminding you guys to call honestly just pick up the phone and call it's not that hard wallah it's free you know nowhere in the world right now that doesn't have data or wi-fi everywhere in the world you know when when you're snapping 24 7 and when you're uploading stories to instagram 24 7 you know you have internet, but for the show, subhanAllah. Uh, anyways, uh, your calls are the number one support for the show, inshallah. But the main purpose of the show is to get your opinion to the entire world about the topic that we have chosen today. And the topic today is, is social, or, or social, is watching TV good for you? Uh, a lot of people mention social media, but yeah. Is watching TV good for you? Let us know by calling the number shown uh, now let's go the, to the cons. The, the number was shown enough. Uh, hopefully we can show it one more time. Uh, but let's go to the cons and, and, and check out uh, what the cons are. Now there, this is a number shown right now. Plus 964774-067-1836. Now uh, when we go to the cons of, of watching television, uh, we always tend to look at uh, things uh, like parental issues. When a lot of people um, tend to flip through the television or fl flip through the channels, you will find channels that are very inappropriate for you or for your child. Um, es especially if you have children that are growing up. See, now you need to monitor your children. And you need to also monitor your behavior as well. A few nights ago or a few episodes ago, we had uh, a an episode about violent video games and their contribution. Um, to youth violence and this is also the same thing as well um, if you're watching TV uh, and it has violence in them it will kind of affect you in a way where um, your mood starts to change or if you hear if, if, if you hear false information about um, uh, your, your country or something this will also affect your mood as well now uh, obviously um, when we look at cases um, if, uh, th th there was a Japanese study published in Oxford journals um, showed that excessive TV watching can exchange all right yeah thank you very much I felt like this this, this cup was from heaven uh, you know what I mean but subhanallah I was I was looking at the TV and like wow the Jibra'i just bring me water stuff for Allah I'm kidding I'm kidding <laughs> I'm kidding I'm kidding no it's, it's Mustafa the cameraman uh, shout out to Mustafa, Ali Maytham, uh, Ali Jassim, Salmad Al Husseini, uh, and all of them. We'll give them a shout out after. Uh, but anyways, yeah, thank you, Vidwar, man. Um, we just we just had a Facebook comment um, from Fawzia, okay? Okay, so she says, what kind? Uh, she says the question should be rephrased: to What kind of uh, TV shows? are good and what are bad uh, we'll get to that very soon inshallah actually uh, to let you know and you know I've, I've mentioned that kind of already you know hashtag LNT you know Hussein TV 3 and watching Ahmed Ali uh, is one of the best things you can do on TV uh, we don't want to start rapping because you know I'll go freestyle on and on but anyways back to the Japanese study uh, that was publi published in Oxford journals uh, showed that excessive TV watching can change the structure of a child's brain and caused lower verbal intelligence. Um, other kind of watching television is uh, the truth, the, the, the truthfulness uh, of what's being shown. Um, wh when when you're watching a, a TV show, sometimes always a reality show, you don't know if, if the stuff uh, that's happening out there is okay or if it's not. And most of the time, if you're watching violence, if you're watching drugs, and if you're watching, uh, you know, MTV or you know, uh, the, uh, the 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 other TV channels, uh, you might as well, you know, give up your kids because they're going to try, they're going to turn out to be convicts uh, when they grow up. Uh, but anyways, we do have an audio message from Mahmoud from Los Angeles, from LA. What does he have Hi, my name is Mahmoud from Los Angeles. To answer the question about uh, watching TV, as a good for you uh, it thinks that it depends on the program being watched if it is 
educational then it will be good and if it is Finland then uh, I think we shouldn't watch TV thank you okay thank you very much so again uh, a lot of people are, are, are talking about the content uh, of what's being shown on TV and of course um, you know you can't just have uh, like a blank TV uh, a, a black screen TV there is uh, going to be a content on there and of course it depends on the content uh, that you watch however uh, when we are looking at the cons um, th there are a lot of information that um, extravagated and there are a lot of information that are uh, you know not published properly uh, th they're not you know targeted at the right age uh, and that's why you find always uh, children falling into trouble with their parents and I advise parents uh, you know if you're, if you're letting your kid uh, watch TV post 12 a.m. Uh, then honestly uh, your kid your kid's gonna be watching some naughty stuff I don't want to I don't want to say what uh, but you know just monitor your, your children uh, anyways um, so last message for tonight inshallah we have I think two minutes left last message for tonight inshallah always monitor yourself monitor your family monitor your children on what you show on TV a lot of people did also comment and mention it's about the content that is shown on TV um, so that's what we need to take care of uh, and what we need to think and comprehend at the same time and also keep us in your du'as inshallah and of course keep watching your favorite show and your favorite man Ahmed Ali on hashtag LNT you know so just a, la uh, a, a last joke for tonight knock knock who's there these these who I don't know what LOL <laughs> anyways uh, yeah but hashtag LNT is over now episode 10 episode 10 is done with your favorite man Ahmed Ali so we'll see you in the upcoming episode deuces <laughs>